Hey guys, today we have the Meccano Megasaur. This video is sponsored by Spin Master, so thank you for sending it to us. This is a great project for kids that are how old? Um, 10 years old. 10 years old or up. It has and how many pieces, buddy? 715. It has 715 pieces of happiness for us to put together together. It also, the nice thing about it is that the tools are in the box, which I love. That way I'm not looking for the right size screwdriver for it. It's over three feet long, so it should be really cool. It's yes. a, what is it? T-Rex. It's a T-Rex. Yes, it's a robotic T-Rex. So you can do some programming things with it as well, which is really cool. Another thing I want to point out is that it does, it's, it, it does promote STEM. So science, technology, engineering, and, and math. math. So it, uh, it does have that academic uh, label on it as well. So it's something that's educational as well as fun for kids. Plus, frankly, it just looks really cool. It's a lot of pieces in the box. It makes noise. Its eyes light up. Oh, and the best thing about it is there's little controller things that you can um, press, and we'll learn about that too. It will respond to your voice. I guess it answers yes or no to questions, so we'll see that as well. Um, I also heard that it'll wake up from light and sound, basically. And uh, so we heard it takes some time to put together, and uh, so once we get it together, we'll show you all the cool features of it. Let's build this. Let the building begin. Oh, it's organized. Everything is neatly packed in one box. All the various pieces are in there for making the robot. All the pieces are in here as well. Screws in different parts. It looks like 715 pieces of parts and a full manual. Mike. This might take a while. Day two, the Meccano Mechasaur is finally built. It did take us about six to seven hours to build. So this is not a toy that you'd buy for a kid's birthday or for Christmas morning. Quickly assemble it at night and uh, have them play with it the next day. This is a project that we can work on together. It's a father-son project. It could be a father-daughter project. The nice thing about it is it is STEM. You have to do a lot of work. You have to do a lot of uh, assembly work and that sort of thing, plus it has some electronics that are built into it, so that's all very cool. So, oh, what's your favorite part of it? My favorite part is it is um, when we put on the um, head. You like when we put the head on with the teeth? So it has a bunch of different things that you could do with it. One is it has little jaws on the, on the controller that's an attack mode, so it'll go forward, attack, and raw. Uh, lights, the eyes will light up and that sort of thing as well. We also have, remember what the question mark is for? Uh, it's, if you push it, yep. then um, you can say, uh, do you have a mother? And it says, You ask no. questions. Yep. Yeah. You ask questions of it, and it'll answer yes or, yes or no to it, kind of. It's kind of a growl, yes or no. It has a room guard mode, which looks like a little police badge with an exclamation point. You, you hit that, and you can hide it and scare your sister with it, put it in a dark room. Mm -hmm. And then when she comes in and there's any movement or light, It'll wake up, or it'll roar at her, and uh, if you record that, it's really funny. So this, this mega brain will actually store the movements. So when you hit the record button, you can have it move forward, backwards, or you can have it move forward to side to side, as well as attack mode. And then once you hit the play button, it'll continuously do that movement until you record something new. And so it has that as well. So the mega brain controls all that. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is it has very small pieces, very small parts to it. So it, it does take patience, it does take patience, and it takes uh, some organizational work to make sure you don't lose any parts and do things like that. Let's turn it on and we'll show you some tricks with it. So I'm gonna do the alarm mode, so. So when you do that, its eyes light up, and see now that I talked, it attacks. So that's the, that's the room guard mode. 
okay. this is the question mode. Do you have a mother? I think that was yeah. yes. Yes, that was a that yes. That was yes. And then um, now record mode. The red button. Yeah. Makes a little noise, you know. Forward, right, left, forward, right, left. All right, all right, good. Boom. Sometimes we take our attacks a little too seriously and they're a little more complicated than necessary. So here he is turning, here we go, all right. We're gonna stop him there so he doesn't go off our, our table here. Then um, the next one is we'll pet him. Oh, we forgot about the pet. So you can pet him, remember, what does he do with the petting, do you remember? Uh, he, uh, he either no. purrs, right? Yeah. He purrs like, 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 he's, like he's happy, there you go. Or he can some he sometimes roars. If you pet him, if you yeah, pet him and stuff like that, sometimes he'll roar if he's I guess this. he's angry and he doesn't want to be petted anymore, he'll roar. But you can see his mouth moves and that sort of thing, so it's really fun. One thing to note too, don't if you if you put on his when he's putting his jaw on and his teeth on and stuff like that, don't over tighten the screws or his mouth won't open. It won't it won't do that. So that's just a um, a little piece of information as well. The hands don't don't necessarily don't move. So let's turn them off. The hands don't really move, but the rest of them pretty much moves. The tail kind of sways as he goes. But it's a really cool project, especially, for, like I said, for like, those kids that are math and science people that really like to build and do hands-on and, and learn how to do stuff and read, read instructions. There's whatever. There's a 126-page instruction book, 126 steps to building this. Uh -huh. And so it's something you probably want to do for an hour put it aside, do it for another hour, put it aside, and just build it as, as a project for um, you and your son or daughter. So, that's it. Or, for the, or we can, or after, um, after your dad makes it, you can try to make it, the kids can try to make it themselves. That's a good, that's a good point. You, this is one thing you could build with it, you can also build other things with it as well. So the, me the mega the mega brain, you could do a lot of different stuff with it. I'm, I'm sure you could look different things up and build other things as well. Um, it's definitely a cool thing and the kids think it's pretty mm -hmm. fun to scare people with it. Their favorite part is to try to put it in a dark room and scare mom or I, or, which isn't mm -hmm. funny, and that sort of thing. So it'd be really cool if you put like a GoPro on it or if you put your phone in the area and you got to scare somebody and, and you could record it. That'd be a really cool Just project. reminding you, don't scare your grandma. That's true, especially if you love your grandma like Sora does. Grandmas, right? Mm -hmm. So don't scare grandma. So that's it for the Meccano Megasaur. Um, like us, we're gonna do more toy reviews, especially when it's coming up to the holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, we're from babygizmo.com, and that's it. Thank you very much, bye. If you, if you like dinosaurs, like this video. Y bye. Bye. Oh!